Hello everyone, once again welcome to my artist channel. Today I came with something different case not. So everybody knows that we used to write OIT letter to a specialized person. It can be a doctor, can be a nurse, can be occupational therapist or physiotherapist, pharmacist, different type of persons. But everywhere we will have only one patient, right? But in some case not, we will have one associated person. Like we are writing regarding a person, example like a veteran. And we will request the assistive services for his wife also. Sometimes we will write the letter to a patient, regarding a patient, I mean regarding a baby. Maybe we will ask the assistive services for mother also. So this is quite natural we used to see in our OIT case letter. But today I will show you another one peculiar case note. Here we will have two babies that is twins babies and we are going to refer these babies to a single uh, staff that is the newborn care specialist nurse. So I hope this is something different for you. First time you are hearing, I hope. So how we will write in a letter? Two babies, two patients, and two diagnoses, two care no case notes, and two different management. How it can be possible? Anyway, let us see how it will work. So first of all, for you, I will read you the case note here. We have two twin babies. This is Ryan and Rohan. Uh, they are the patients in a newborn ICU where you are the NICU charge nurse at Royal Women's Hospital, Sydney. Mother is already discharged and babies are yet to be discharged. Age one week old babies and address is given 1278 over the venue Victoria, Sydney 0099. Mother's name is Mrs. Angelina Michael, date of birth is 1910 1995. And she had gestational diabetes mellitus during antenatal period and, uh, and she attended all antenatal visits. Father is Michael Luke, 34 years and he is a graphic designer. And other children, they have another one girl, 2 years old girl, Rayona Michael. And we will see the medical history. Uh, this mother has admission on 8-1-2019. Compliant of fetal distress due to cord entanglement. So they took the patient for cesarean section at the midnight uh, at, on the day of admission. So the delivery date is 8-1-2019. And we can see the baby's um, uh, case now. The first baby is Ryan. Today he is 3 days old baby. And first baby aspirated meconium and he has decreased heart rate, increased respiratory rate, blue discoloration on upper and lower extremities. So the upcore score was 4 out of 10. Poor sucking and they have given oxygen therapy 2 liter per hour. And his weight was 2.5 kg. They are fraternal psychotics, psychotic twins. And um, medical progress uh, today, that is 17th January 2019. The diagnosis for Ryan is poor sucking. Nursing management, they have given prophylactic antibiotic therapy with the ambicillin 50 mg BID and gindamycin 50 mg B, 15 mg BID. And he has been in radian warmer therapy. IV fluid DNS has been given and oxygen therapy through the tent. CPAP for 3 days after delivery. So this is the case note for the first baby, Ryan. And we will see the second baby. His name is Rohan. And second baby's weight is 2 kg at the time of birth, poor sucking, Apgar score, heart rate was good, but decreased respiratory rate, both are expelled, meconium. So both, for both of them, meconium aspiration happened, and for him, the peculiar diagnosis is cleft palate and cleft lip, so the mother is depressed. And the nursing management for Ryan, I mean Rohan is IVF, DNS therapy, oxygen therapy through the tent and radin warmer therapy to continue, it should be continued till the, till he gains weight. And they have given the general discharge date, it's something uh, confusing but you have to segregate the nursing management, I mean the future management. Rohan needs radin warmer therapy, that is the Second baby needs to continue warmer therapy. Monitor sucking ability of both children. So this is common for both children. Continue intravenous fluid therapy for both children. And Rohan needs pediatric surgical intervention for cleft palate and cleft lip. Monitor their weight every day. This is common for both babies. 
need psychological support for their family especially for their mother so here um for rohan specifically we need to continue radin warmer therapy and he needs surgical intervention and the remaining three interventions are common for both babies like um, um monitor the sucking ability and daily weight checking and continue the intravenous fluid therapy so these are all are common for both babies so these are all the um plan for both babies next one we will see the writing task using the case note write a referral letter to miss daniela robertson newborn specialist nurse sydney children's hospital australia inform her of the current situation medical background of the newborn babies and request an immediate management for both babies so this is the writing task for our case note so we are going to write one case note with the two babies data and different nursing interventions so we will see how the letter will be we will start our letter with the date today's date is 17 january 2019 and the address is miss daniela robertson newborn specialist nurse sydney children's hospital nsw australia salutation is dear miss robertson regarding ryan and rohan date of birth is same 8 january 2019 to the introduction so in this introduction you have to introduce both babies and you have to inform them they are the fraternal twins and you have to separately indicate which baby has which condition and what is the requirement for both babies so we will write like this i am writing to refer ryan and rohan comma the fraternal twins of mrs angelina michael who have poor sucking as well as cleft lip and cleft palate respectively they require an immediate management at your facility so here we wrote both babies name and uh, we are indicating they are fraternal twins of mrs angelina michael and we have to write both disease conditions like respectively with the use of the phrase respectively you can make combination i mean you can make a correlation between like ryan has poor sucking and rohan has cleft lip and cleft palate so that is the benefit of the usage of the phrase respectively and both babies need immediate management at this facility so like this way we can conclude the introduction go to the present medical paragraph here we have to make two paragraphs one paragraph it is for Ryan and another one is for Rohan, so that the reader will not get confusion. We can just introduce like this way. Ryan and Rohan have delivered on 8 January 2019 by cesarean section due to fetal distress and cord entanglement. Next, we are going to write about Ryan. Upon observation, Ryan was found to have meconium aspiration, and his APGAR score was 4 out of 10, along with poor sucking and birth weight of 2.5 kg. Thus, then we are writing you. We are going to write regarding the management. What was the management we did at our hospital? Thus, he was managed with prophylactic antibiotic therapy, ampicillin 50 mg twice daily. We have to keep comma in between. and genamizing 15 mg twice daily along with intravenous fluid therapy dns then we can uh, make an connective also comma he was commenced on oxygen therapy by tent don't use via you can write by tent radin warmer therapy as well as cpap for 3 days uh, here you can um, you can see this radin warmer and oxygen therapy everything it is it is finished for this baby so we can write commenced on was commenced on but for the next baby we have to write has been because still he is on radian warmer so this is the first baby's information so ryan was found to have meconium aspiration and his apgar score was not good and his but his weight is okay but he has poor sucking then how we manage with the antibiotic therapy and intravenous fluid therapy along with oxygen therapy and radian warmer and this baby was in cpap for 3 days so which until here it is clear for the baby ryan so we are going to write about rohan upon delivery comma rohan was found to have meconium aspiration poor sucking as well as low respiration rate his apgar score was good but birth weight was 2 kg 
actually for the first baby abgas kaur was it was very low but this baby abgas kaur was good but there is we can use uh, but Mm, or even though or something like that birth weight was 2 kg also he has congenital facial deformity because in intro we already wrote regarding cleft lip and cleft palate so here there should not be a repetition so just we wrote congenital facial deformity then we will move to the management subsequently he was managed with oxygen therapy by tent and intravenous fluid therapy in addition he has been treated so we have to write has been treated because radin warmer is still ongoing and in future also in in, uh, in the recommendation paragraph we need to write uh, the same so instead of that we can write here has been so no need to repeat it again in the recommendation paragraph in addition he has been treated with the radin warmer therapy which needs to be continued until he gains weight so that's all regarding the baby rohan so we wrote already regarding the meconium aspiration poor sucking and regarding the respiration rate his abgor score was good but the problem related to the bird weight still it's continuing and um, uh, already we informed that patient has deformity facial deformity like cleft palate and cleft lip and what is the manage what all the management we have given oxygen therapy intravenous fluid therapy and radiant warm up therapy it is continuing still that's all regarding the baby rohan next we will move to the social history ryan and rohan are second babies for their parents they have one elder sister their mother had gestational diabetes mellitus during antenatal period other than that we don't have any other uh, information regarding father actually no need to write but for mother we need to write that um, she had gestational diabetes due mellitus during antenatal period that's all regarding the social paragraph last one is the important paragraph regarding the recommendation here we should not make any confusion because this is the important uh, points uh, by this in like recommendation paragraph by this recommendation paragraph only the reader will come to know what all the intervention she need to give so it should be clear because we are writing going to write for both babies two babies so we can just segregate like uh, the more important it is for rohan because rohan needs some more Uh, recommendations the remaining everything it is common for both babies so we can write like this kindly monitor sucking ability of ryan and rohan as well as continue intravenous fluid therapy along with the daily weight assessment so these three interventions are common for three babies that means intravenous fluid therapy weight check and mo monitoring of sucking ability that one we can write, write it in a single sentence then we can write about uh, rohan please arrange surgical consultation for rohan to correct congenital abnormalities and it would be appreciated if you could provide psychological support for their family especially to the mother so why we wrote it would be appreciated here not in the starting means because this is additional uh, help or as additional assistance we are requesting to the staff nurse to give to provide to their mother that's why here we just wrote it would be appreciated if you could provide psychological support for their family especially to the mother so it is clear it is clear here that what all the management we have they have to give to ryan and rohan that means rohan needs additional surgical consultation and um, uh, radin warmer already we wrote it in the present medical paragraph so it's clear there and for both babies sucking ability how to be monitored and intravenous fluid therapy how to be continued and daily weight check up how to be monitored these are all the things how to be done for the um, newborn specialist nurse so i hope it's clear here conclusion will be if you have any queries please not hesitate to contact me yours sincerely register nurse so approximately in this letter we can see 195 maybe it will be 210 maximum it will come counts like 210 um we have uh, just included all relevant data regarding both babies and in the recommendation paragraph we just con concised and we wrote uh, so that is all the thing what we did here so the problem will encounter here when we are writing in the present medical paragraph this one should not be combined it should be in a two separate paragraph because the reader will get confusion and the same problem will happen in the recommendation paragraph you should not write like a separate 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 the reader will get confusion there also so we can concise and we can write it in a simple sentence for both babies and which need to be 
uh, extra for uh, separate another one baby we can write like a separate like a raw and need something like that and remaining everything we can write like a common and even in introduction you may have confusion how to introduce the babies so this is a easy way how we can introduce the baby with the mother's name so it will be easy and respectively that phrase also please try to use it in your uh, letter especially this respectively we can use it in social paragraph when you are writing uh, regarding the past medical histories and um, or uh, if there is any uh, with the medication uh, with disease conditions and medications if you want to correlate you can use this respectively and even here it is very easy to write or else we have to write that Ryan has this one, Rohan has this one. No need to write like that. It is like um, uh, we can make it like a presentation, like a good presentation by using by by the use of some uh, like special phrases. So I hope uh, this letter it is clear for you. This is very rare letter, and um, it is uh, we could not expect that this type of letters will come, but you can be uh, familiar with every types of white letter so that in case if you get some uh, letters in, in this way or in, in another way like two patients are there and you have to write two patients like uh, in equal importance means you will have an exposure so i hope it is clear for you and it is helpful for you and if you like just keep it in your minds the sentences the construction and the way how you will write everything I hope you will make uh, beneficial from this IT letter writing. Thanks for watching. We will see then another one informative video. Until then, bye. Take care.